Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me at League Two Football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. The game today is Portsmouth against Oxford United. It's been an eventful time for Portsmouth. Choppy waters, you might say, down there on the south coast, having gone from the Premier League down the divisions. But they did win that FA Cup, didn't they? Yeah, they did. What a highlight that was. Just so sad to see their fall from Grace Martin played there a number of times. One of the great old-fashioned English grounds. So here we go. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers. Trying to... The shot's on! Good stop by the goalkeeper. Roberts goalkeeper hands on Taylor here's the cross yeah, his cross was well away from those trying to get there and turn it into a chance Crosses in. Here's Roberts. Cuts off! And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. Moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Put it in well. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. And in it goes. but he's certainly hit it with accuracy. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Lost possession here. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Goal news involving Plymouth. It's a goal for Plymouth Argyle. 25 minutes played, 1 0. So many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Got it back again. Rose. to Bennett the player's done well here until it was the direction of the pass really right idea but couldn't find his man it's out over the touchline Mullins just a heavy touch the opposition could take the ball away He could. Here's the shot. You can understand why he's kept going for goal, having scored in the game. 
Yeah, but this one has passed him by. Yeah, I don't think you can knock him for having a go from there. He's in a good position. Keep the opposition pen back. This throw can help do that. Here's Taylor. Well, this could be a chance to level it up from the corner. second game in charge his game number three and we need to take shape under him I think so I mean there were signs that he's getting the players on side and another win here the crowd will be right behind him shots on here they are still one down but it shouldn't be the case no really the keeper was exposed and uh, he was helped an awful lot by the lad who's missed that shot Murray good contest between these two as they jostle for possession good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now it's crossed it well and it's a headed effort at goal terrific stop you can only put it behind for the quarter now with a punch to clear the danger pressure really on yet another corner Well, what a miss. That would have been the equaliser. And he knows it too, doesn't he? Look at his expression. He'll just be praying he gets another chance to make amends. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Portsmouth are going to make a switch. Portsmouth, who are leading as we go into the second half. And in goes the cross. Keeps it going well. Fine cross. And he's headed it goalwards. It's a goal on that level. And he saw the gap, and he really did find it well with that header. So away we go at one all. substitution it's for the away team Rose neither side able to dwell on the ball for very long here oh he's through off. both teams fighting hard to get a goal to go ahead still all square McDonald. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. Now the shot. Very good. 
good stop here. A penalty. No question. Well, the referees decided to give the penalty, and it's a chance now to take the lead. Well, could be a vital decision, this one, and looking at it, I think he was correct in it. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. He's missed it. Well, sometimes you can tell in the run-up and he looked in his eyes, he did not look confident at all. It's kept on rising and over the bar. Well, I think we're talking about a loss of nerve as much as anything else. Never looked confident running up to the ball and smashing it over. Strong, fair challenge. Bulls out for a throw, though. of possession here on the transfer front we're hearing of a confirmation of a transfer Angel Di Maria has been transferred to Paris Saint-Germain well 35 million or thereabouts isn't a small figure but uh, low to potential with this lad You're thinking for the away side, time for a change. Gonna cross it. Good link up. And that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Well, there's some drama in the game being watched by our good friend Alan McInally. They're sending off, I believe, Alan. It's a red card for the home team. They're down to 10 men. 76 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Can he shut off now? Good goal to take the lead here. I think too many better than this over the years because that is just arrowing into the top right. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. It's Portsmouth out in front. been a thrilling contest this and we're into the last knockings of it and the supporters well they're not showing any sign of losing their stamina they've been great yeah always love coming to this ground one of the best atmospheres around they've not disappointed well he's got support here Takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. Barton. Goal news from Bristol Rovers. It's a third goal for Morecambe. Three minutes remain. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. He's going to trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. And here's the shot. Goal! I don't know if this stadium has seen a better goal than that this season. Top left, 
What a beauty from outside of the box. Two teams brilliantly matched in this contest. It's level again. On the ball now, but definitely looking the worst for wear. Kyle Bennett. Trying to pass it through and the interception is absolutely vital this late in the game. And that's the end of the contest. It is a draw for all that territorial advantage for one of the teams. Yeah, I mean, they got the ball in the opposing half a lot of times, as we've seen by the stats, but uh, I just don't think they picked out the right passes at the right time. Save. A chance! And it's a goal here. 